After weeks of a legal roller coaster, Texas's sweeping border security law, Senate Bill 4, is once again back in court. This time, the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals heard arguments over the law's constitutionality, or lack thereof. This is a real case that's going to challenge the power of the federal government and the supremacy clause over who is in charge of immigration enforcement. Demonstrators outside the courthouse this morning protesting the polarizing law. Senate Bill 4 would give Texas virtually unprecedented authority over immigration and border security by allowing Texas law enforcement officers to arrest undocumented migrants based on their immigration status and in some cases effectively deport them. Regardless of what the appeals court does, most analysts say this case will ultimately be decided by the Supreme Court. We don't know whether how the court will eventually rule on this law. Uh, we firmly believe that it's anti-immigrant, it's unconstitutional, and it should not go in, in effect. It was just last week that the same set of judges stopped the law from taking effect, rejecting Texas's request for a stay pending appeal, a potential bad omen for the law's Republican supporters. And for the most part, that seems a likely outcome once again. In fact, in this morning's hearing, the lawyer for Texas said Texas has tried to develop a statute that goes up to the line of the Supreme Court precedent but allows Texas to protect the border. Going on to say, now, to be fair, maybe Texas went too far. But already, SB4 is having an impact bigger than just Texas. More than a 1,000 miles away, the Idaho House of Representatives has passed a law that's nearly identical to Texas' Senate Bill 4, creating a state-level criminal penalty for illegal immigration. That sort of patchwork of state-level policies is exactly what a federal judge in Austin cited as reason to stop the law from taking effect. But whether or not the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals does the same is still up in the air. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.